Good morning, my neighbor, good morning. The how everybody did do this wonderful morning. It's another beautiful day. I had to get up and pray and say thank you, Lord, for another day. Good morning, my neighbor, good morning. The how everybody did do this wonderful The Lord just brought me through the night, through the night. So it's a challenging day before He take me away behind to the grave. Success on my mind. Good morning, me never good morning. The how everybody be good this wonderful. Pleasant good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to another edition of Morning Prayer brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Today is the 11th day of June in 2024, and it's a beautiful morning here in beautiful Dangriga. I pray that you're having a beautiful morning where you are this morning. Here, the sun is coming out, the birds are singing, there is no breeze, absolute dead calm sea, mm -hmm. and I am loving it. We're going to start things off this beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful Tuesday morning with this one entitled Come to Us Creative Spirit. Let's have a listen.
a lovely one there entitled come to us creator spirit and that one chosen because today the 11th of june in 2024 is the feast of saint barnabas and we'll hear a little bit more about barnabas the apostles as we go on in our morning prayer for now we continue with our opening sentence their song has gone out into all lands and their message to the ends of the world Using versicle 1 on page 35, Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Our invitatory prayer, Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Our first canticle for this morning is the canticle, the Jubilate, Psalm 100. And this morning, we are going to be using the sung version of that canticle. Let's have a listen. to the Lord, all ye, all ye lands, serve the Lord, the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing, know ye that the Lord is God, it is he who hath made us, and not we, not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of We continue with our act of penitence. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Together we pray. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life for the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty of that abundant life, which you have made known to us in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 15 and 67, and using a previously recorded version of the Psalm, leading us this morning is Miss Nyla Reed. Let's have a listen. Psalm 57, be merciful. The Psalm appointed 15 and 67, Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may abide upon your holy hill? Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right? Who speaks the truth from his heart? There is no guile upon his town. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. 
In his sight the wicked is rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. We want to thank Miss Wade for leading us in the reading of the Psalms for this morning. Our second canticle for this morning is the canticle, the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and do not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Our Bible reading for this morning comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, verse 7 through to 16. Let's have a listen. A reading from the Word of God written in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verse 7 through to 16. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. You are the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belt. No bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals of a staff, for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpent and innocent as doves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you would allow me a couple of seconds to get back to the beginning of the reading, although most of what we'll be discussing this morning, we'll be looking at St. Barnabas, the apostle whose feast we celebrate today, the 11th of June. That portion of scripture from Matthew chapter 10, verse 7 to 16, is of course the sending out of the 12 that Jesus did, the 12 disciples chosen and commissioned. And of course, in the beginning of that chapter from verse 1 to verse 4, the 12 are named by name. Of course, we know Simon, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, um, Livius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, Judas, the Iscariot, who eventually betrayed Jesus. And these are the names of the 12. And the 12, of course, are being commissioned and sent out. Yes. And one would wonder why this portion of scripture, if we're looking at the feast of St. Barnabas. So who exactly was Barnabas? And it is believed, according to theologians, that Joseph a Levite, born in Cyprus, was the apostle called Barnabas. And of course, his name Barnabas means son of encouragement. It is believed that Joseph, this Levite born in Cyprus, sold a field that he owned and brought the money and turned it over to the apostles in Acts chapter 4 verse 36. And this is the first mention there in Acts chapter 4 verse 36 where we hear of this guy 
Barnabas. His new name, of course, Barnabas, um, even though he originally was called Joseph, um, his new name, which means son of encouragement, yes, um, we get this fitting of his name with regards to his actions because the selling of his field and the bringing of the money to turn over to the apostles was a means of encouraging their ministry by financially supporting it in order for that ministry to continue. It is said that after Saul, who later became Paul, came to Jerusalem after his conversion, most of the Christians there did not want anything to do with Paul. You remember Paul would have been the one who on the road to Damascus was seeking letters in order that he could find Christians and persecute them. Saul, being a devout Jew, did not like the teachings of Jesus Christ, did not like the idea of Jesus Christ, because Saul, of course, was close with the Pharisees and the Sadducees who had plotted to kill Jesus. So after his Damascus experience, Saul, of course, being healed by God through the hands of Ananias, was baptized and then began preaching and teaching. But early in in Paul, because remember his name changed from Saul to Paul, early in Paul's ministry when he came to Jerusalem and began proclaiming the word of God about the truth about Jesus Christ, many people were afraid of him because they remembered how vehemently he had denied Christ and how he pursued the Christians in order to persecute them. Saul, of course, being one that would have been at the stoning of Stephen the first martyr. Yes, they had known him to be um, a persecutor and an enemy of the church. And it is this same Joseph the Levite born in Cyprus, who later was named Barnabas, who was one of the first who was willing to give Paul a second chance. It is believed that he looked up to Paul. He spoke with him. He brought him to see and to meet other Christians that he would have known and was vouching for Paul. And later, of course, we know that Paul and Barnabas went on a missionary journey together, taking Mark with them. And of course, part of the way on that particular journey, Mark turned back and went home. But Paul and Barnabas continue on their journey. And later on, Paul and Barnabas was about to set out on another journey. And Paul, um, Barnabas, I think it was, proposed to take Mark along and Paul was against it, saying that Mark had shown himself undependable for turning back the first time but Barnabas again the person who wanted to give second chances wanted to give Mark a second chance and so Barnabas and Mark went off on one journey while Paul took Silas with him on another and so you see the camaraderie between Barnabas and Paul and they they're working together for the promotion of the kingdom and Barnabas seems to be portrayed in the gospel as a person who gives second chances yeah, And of course, when Barnabas took Mark with him on his journey, Mark responded well to the trust given to him by the son of encouragement, Barnabas. And we later find that Paul will speak of Mark and Barnabas as a value, valuable assistants. Yes, in Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 11, only Luke is with me, wrote Paul. So get Mark and bring him with you for he is useful in my ministry. So you see that being given a second chance by Barnabas, Mark then proves himself right. And that is what Barnabas is known for, being a person of second chances. And we give God thanks for Barnabas and his ministry and his life in his opportunity, well, his willingness to give persons a second chance opportunities. And that's what we know him for here this morning as we celebrate his feast. And how does that tie in with our reading? Well, the appointment of those who are faithful, yes, the appointment of those who are faithful to go out to promote the gospel. And while Jesus appointed the twelve, who Barnabas was not one of them, the same type of ministry that he sent the twelve into is the same type of ministry that Barnabas would have exercised as a companion of Paul and later a companion of Mark. And so today we give thanks on the feast of St. Barnabas for St. Barnabas' willingness to promote the gospel and, of course, for his willingness to give others second chances. We'll continue then with the profession of our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Together we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. As our Savior has taught us, so let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. For our suffrages this morning, we use suffrage B on page 44. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known among earth and your saving health among nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our first collet for this morning is the collet for the Feast of St. Barnabas. Grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas, who, seeking not his own renown but the well-being of your church, gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor and the spread of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And then our second collet for this morning is the collet for Pentecost proper 5. Let us pray. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from night and turns the shadow of death into morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may when night comes rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today in our World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the people of Libya. And in our Ecumenical Cycle of Prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers who are members of the Native Baptist Church of Cameroon. And now let us turn to our own prayers of personal intercessions and thanksgiving. morning we would like to extend birthday greetings to the following individuals. Celebrating a birthday yesterday was Miss Gertrude Steven and celebrating a birthday today is Mr. Andrew Winter, Mr. Mark Logue, Miss Joyce Stewart, Mr. Calvin Osman and Miss Rachel Page Price. We pray ladies and gentlemen that you'll have a blessed and beautiful birthday and that indeed God's blessings continue to be upon you not just for today but for all the remaining days of your lives. Happy birthday! In our prayers, we give Almighty God thanks for persons who have recovered from illness and surgery. We continue to pray for healing and recovery for the following individuals. We remember and pray for Miss Judith, Miss Eileen, Miss Pauline, Miss Rose, Miss Grace, Miss Celine, Miss Maria, Miss Norma, Miss Mary, Miss Kim, and Miss Jean. We pray for Miss Monica, Miss Sylvia, Miss Dez, Miss Aislin, Miss Justine, Miss Lisa, Miss Soila, Miss Beryl, Miss Janet, Miss Marley, and Miss Toya. We remember and pray for Miss Nelita, Miss Molly, Miss Amy, Miss Amelia, Miss Crystal, Miss Marlene, Miss Alma, Miss Dylan, Miss Janice, Miss Myrna, Miss Margaret, Miss Betty, Miss Martha, Miss Marva, Miss Gloria, Miss Ruby, Miss Jessica, Miss Janice, Miss Althea, Miss Teresa, Miss Venancia, Miss Marie. We pray for Miss Agnes, Miss Lena, Miss Loretta, Miss Barbara, Miss Celestina, Miss Delverine, Miss Yolanda, Miss LaShawn, Miss Glenda, Miss Salome, Miss Felicia, Miss Priscilla, Miss Joycelyn, Miss Alma, Miss Maud, Miss Elma, Miss Arlet, Miss Lorraine, Miss Geraldine, Miss Myrtle, Miss Sonia, and Miss Petrona. In our prayers, we continue to pray for Miss Carolyn, Miss Carol, Miss Jasmine, 
Miss Alaire, Miss Nina, Miss Leonor, Miss Tanya, Miss Robin, Miss Jean, Miss Camille, Miss Daisha, Miss Marie W, Miss Kieron, Miss Joyce, Miss Marcia, Miss Ismay, Miss Joel, Miss Ulichi, Miss Lisa T, Miss Rita, Miss Louise, and Miss Fiona. We pray for Miss Carolyn, Miss Gretel, Miss Kelia, Miss Velina, Reverend Tilona, Miss Sharon, Miss Elva, Miss Nadia, Miss Leonor, Eleanor, Miss Lynette, Miss Natalie, Miss Sheila, Miss Catherine, Miss Sandra, Miss Bernadine, Miss Brenda Jean, Miss Tanisha, Miss Dominique, Reverend Linda, Miss Shelma Dean, Miss Charlene, Miss Delvery, Miss Irene, Miss Pop, Miss Michelle, Miss Sophie, Miss Jean, Miss Angela, Miss Perla, Miss Anne, Miss Maisie, and Miss Tracy. We pray for Miss Dorothy B, Miss Suzette, Miss Kimberly, Miss Shanice, Miss Julianne, Miss Dillis, Miss Tessa, Miss Megan, Miss Laurel, and Miss Patricia. We remember and pray for the following of our brothers Mr. Zane, Mr. Larry, Mr. Kenrick, Mr. Wilfred, Mr. Marvin, Mr. Philip, Father Eric, Mr. Jeffrey, Mr. Tony, and Mr. Gary. We pray for Mr. Dudley, Mr. Finley, Mr. Costa, Mr. Oscar, Mr. Freddie, Mr. Dion, Mr. Charles, Mr. Edmundo, Mr. Ian, Mr. Bell M, Mr. Leroy Jr., Mr. Rupert, Mr. Enrique, Mr. Robert, Mr. Rodney, Mr. Ismael, Mr. Clement, Mr. Walter, Mr. Edgar Jr., and Mr. Carlos. We continue to pray for Mr. Sean, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Clinton, Mr. Emmett, Mr. Mark, Mr. Lyndon, Mr. Gilbert, Mr. Alfred, Mr. Dion, Mr. Pablo, Father Constancio, Mr. Russell, Mr. Kurt, Mr. Donald, Sir Colville, Mr. Michael Samuels, Mr. Michael Samaranis, Mr. Brindel, Mr. Ambrose, and Mr. Peter H. In our prayers, we continue to remember and pray for Mr. Gustavo, Mr. Lincoln, Mr. Grayson, Bishop Curry, Mr. Jamar, Mr. Dave, Mr. Trevor, Mr. Chris, Mr. Ernest, Father Mark, Mr. David, Mr. Carmen, Mr. Peter, Mr. Albert, Mr. Warren, Mr. Franz, Mr. Omar, Mr. Jervis, Mr. Irvin, Mr. Richard, Mr. Lloyd, Mr. Kieran, Mr. Devin, Mr. Anigi, Mr. Ivan, Mr. Ted, Mr. Paul, Mr. Clayton, and Bishop Wright. In our prayers, as we pray for those who are infirm, we continue to remember and pray for those who are caring for the infirm those who offer at-home care, as well as for our medical professionals in private or public institutions. We continue to remember and pray for, especially, Doctors Hidalgo, Molina, Molia, Arnal, Manzanero, Ariaga, Shogreen, Ken, Arana, Joseph, Eck, Lawrence, Sosa, Young, Cuellar, Flores, and Rosado. We pray for Nurse McKin, Nurse Gill, Nurse Herrera, Nurse Aurel, Nurse Cherie, Nurse Joycelyn, Nurse Lino, Nurse Alberta, Nurse Aaron, Nurse Alejandra, Nurse Olivia, Nurse Julie, Nurse Ashley, Nurse Cadogan, and Nurse Lexi. In our prayers, as we pray for those who are infirm and those who care for them, we continue to remember and pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. We continue to remember and pray for them, praying, Heavenly Father, give you life and health. Comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs. That those for whom our prayers are offered may be strengthened in their weakness, have confidence in your loving care, and experience your healing grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In our prayers, we continue to pray for comfort for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one. We remember and pray for the family of Miss Jane Locarno, the family of Mr. Clinton Raven, the family of Miss Merkel Morris, the family of Miss Petrona Morales, the family of Miss Denise Cayetano, the family of Mr. Roy White Jr., and the family of Miss Shan For all those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray that God would grant you comfort during this time of bereavement, and we pray for eternal rest for those who have died. In our prayers, we continue to remember and pray for protection over our loved ones who are far away from us. We continue to remember and pray for our students, praying for Elisa, Tammy, Karina, Courtney, Akua, Randolph, Angel, Paige, Ashley, Garrett, Freedom, Ria, Rihanna, Austin, Kai, Jamal, Arian, Kishanti, and Tiffany. We pray for our loved ones in the military, praying for Jason, Emil, Charles S., Derek, Prince, Charles C., Candy, Christopher, Sam, Gavin, and Nishan. 
in our prayers, we continue to remember and pray for those who are considered most vulnerable in our society. We remember and pray for the poor, the needy, the elderly, the homeless persons in hospice care. We remember and pray for persons struggling with ailments such as HIV and AIDS, persons struggling with illnesses such as MS, lupus, persons struggling with cancers of various types and forms. We continue to remember and pray for those struggling with mental health challenges as well as those who are struggling with substance abuse issues and their related complications. In our prayers, we continue to pray for our security forces, for the government, for the churches, for the private sector, for all non-governmental organizations involved in any form of humanitarian aid, and for all persons in positions of public trust and authority, praying that God's wisdom and discernment will be upon them as they exercise their authority over others. In our prayers, we continue to pray for the members of the international community, those who are ravaged by the effects of civil unrest and war and those who are ravaged by the effects of natural disasters for all persons in their various stages of recovery we pray for god's provision over them in our prayers we continue to remember and pray for protection for ourselves and for our region we remember and pray for protection against civil unrest and against natural disasters especially during this hurricane season for the prayers of our hearts of that tongues cannot confess, we pray that Almighty God would hear our prayers. We conclude our intercessions by praying together. Almighty and eternal God, sanctify and govern our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that under your protection now and ever we may be preserved in body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. means of announcement brothers and sisters i want to thank you so much for joining me for morning prayer this morning it is indeed a blessing and a privilege to be able to greet the new day in your presence as well as for us to be able to greet this new day in the presence of almighty god i give god thanks for this opportunity to worship with you this morning and just a few things this morning if we could continue please in our prayers to pray for mr james young and the young family mr james has still not yet been found and we continue to pray for his family as they continue to search for him we remember and pray as well for mr ewart mr salvador mr hubert miss elaine and miss debbie and of course we continue to remember and pray for them with regards to their health and recovery asking for god's comfort and healing be upon them at this time in terms of notices and announcements, we have an initiative going on in the diocese. Let me see if I could pull that up here. There, the Commission on Outreach, which is a commission in the diocese, is holding a restoration of gardens, farms, and rainforests that have been affected by wildfires. The hope is that we will be able to, as a church, help fire victims and work towards restoring the rainforest. So we are inviting persons to join our diocesan initiative of In His Hands. This is what it is called. And In His Hands is the Ministry of Restoration for Gardens, Farms, and Rainforest. So far, the Outreach Commission have been able to um, help in the fire situation, in especially in the south, where they have sent down to frontliners in, in Punta Gorda, 60 cases of the bag waters, 20 cases of juice, 50 pounds of rice, and 48 pounds of flour. Yes, and the Outreach Commission is working towards a medium or long-term goal of providing seedlings to be a part of this In His Hand project. If you are interested in being a part of the initiative, you can contact Postal and Sue Harris at WhatsApp um, on WhatsApp at phone number 604-5688 or you could email her at steppingstones.sue at gmail.com. You could also get in touch with me or Reverend Elizabeth and we could forward the information to her as well. When we think about it, those who are fighting the wildfires, those who have lost possession due to the wildfires, and then of course, those animals that would have been displaced due to the loss of their habitat. This is where the planting of trees initiative has come in as well. 
So if you feel so moved by God to be a part of this initiative, do feel free to get in contact with Poston and Harris, 604 myself or Reverend Elizabeth. Whoops, let's continue then. I'm not sure why this is going that way, but let's continue then. Mm -hmm. With our notices for this morning, just our schedule of services. Following this broadcast, we have noonday prayers at midday, evening prayer at 5.30 and compliant at 9 p.m. We invite you to join us for any or all of these services as you are able. I see a message pop up on my phone about our Cusio raffle. Mm -hmm. The Anglican Cusio movement is trying to raise funds for the upcoming retreat in October. Yes, they are. And of course, they are selling a raffle booklets. There are raffle tickets. There are 13 prizes on each ticket. A booklet contains 11 tickets. It's $10 per booklet. The 11th ticket is free. You can contact any of your Christian members or the clergy in any of your churches. Or you could contact me as well. So we could make sure we see how we could get this raffle book sold in order to raise funds for our upcoming Christian retreat weekend. Those being all our notices, then let us continue with our prayer of dedication, followed by the grace, the dismissal, and then our final hymn. Let us pray. Together we pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our hearts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and to serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We're going to close off this morning with one entitled, May the Mind of Christ My Savior. And I chose this one in honor of St. Barnabas, who had the mind of Christ in him, enough to offer his possessions for the continuation of the work of Christ and enough to give people a second chance for them to experience the love of Christ. I do pray you have a blessed and beautiful day today. Please do all you can, <clears throat> pardon me, to keep yourself and your family safe. Until tomorrow morning, same place, same time. God bless. And bye for now.
Good morning, my neighbor, good morning. The how everybody did do this wonderful morning. It's another beautiful day. I had to get up and pray and say thank you, Lord, for another day. Good morning, my neighbor, good morning. The how everybody did do this wonderful The Lord just brought me through the night, through the night. So I face a challenging day before He take me away behind to the grave. Success on the mind. Good morning, me never good morning. The how everybody did do this one.